here on YouTube today, we actually have the Notice of Love update for November 7th, which means we officially have the kit of the new upcoming character, which is going to be Levencia, the absolute beaut that she is. Deal snatch a Levencia costume and Levencia exclusive gear, sorry, Superbia will be available for pickup. Very, very cool stuff. She's going to be coming out in about two days on November 7th and she'll be here for two weeks ready for you to pull for her. First of all, obviously, I mean, I've talked about it several times. Her design is amazing. She looks fantastic. She has that sold off shotgun, it seems, with that massive bike. Um, she's a character from Brown Dust 1 um, and she always has a mount. So in this game, they also wanted her to have a mount, which is this bike. Very, very cool. Now, let's actually see what she does. So first and foremost, we can see here her massive range. It's a one target in front. Uh, it's very front. And then it's three, um, three square behind the target and then five more. So it's like a cone shape, right? Very, very interesting here. That can hit a lot of enemies. Um, now moving on to the knockback, it's actually a, she pushes enemies to the right, so that can be useful, it's nice to have some variety here. Now, the ability itself, what does it do? So here we can see the SP cost is 6, so it's rather high, and the cooldown is 3, thir three turns, sorry, my phone just exploded. Now, as for the skill effect, attack the enemy 8 times, that's a lot of attacks. Each attack deal physical damage based on 60% of your attack. To the main targets, deal physical damage based on 80% of your attack instead. The damage decreases by 5% of every target hit. Damage reduction is fixed based on the first strike. The damage decreases by 5% of every target hit. So, to me, this means that essentially you deal like 80% on main target and 60% on other enemies. And if you hit three enemies, the damage of the subsequent hit is going to be reduced by 15%. Or, or does that apply right away? Let's say you have three enemies in range and then that decreases by 15%, but then the decrease is sa stays as 15% for the entire duration of the ability. I'm not entirely sure about this one. It's another case of like, I feel like it's not 100% clear. Let me know if you guys read it differently. Uh, I would be very curious. Now moving on, we can see the upgrade. So this is the effect at plus zero. On paper, it's a lot of attack um, on a single target. Let's say if you are fighting a single target, that is going to be 80 times eight, which is basically 800, 600, and 40% damage, uh, but obviously has the potential to deal a large amount of AoE damage, which is very, very cool. Yeah, damage reduction is fixed based on the first strike. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, okay. So, I, I, I get it now. So, essentially, if you're hitting one target, it's going to be 80%. If you're hitting eight targets, it's going to be... Um, 40% on the main target and then 20% on the subsequent targets uh, on all enemies, right? And then it stays that way for all 8 hits. Okay. Now, at plus 1, the SP cost lowers from 6 to 5. At plus 2, the damage on the main target increased to 100% to a maximum of 800% attack. Uh, total damage, right? At plus 3, it becomes 110 and 70 for the additional targets at level plus four at plus four it becomes 130 and at plus five it becomes 140 and 80 percent respectively so i would say here damage upgrades are always going to be nice um but i i feel like you can probably stop at plus one to just grab that sp minus one right i think this is this is always good to lower the cost of your abilities and we can see here the skill potential will decrease the SP by one more to a maximum of only three cost, which is great. No, sorry, four cost, my bad. And then skill potential two and three increase the main target damage by plus 20 total, which means that if you completely max out the Vencia, 
you will have 160% damage on the main target, 80% on the other target, a cost of 4 SP and a cooldown of 3 turn, which is pretty interesting. Um, and that's got to be it for this one, but now we can also see the weapon called Superbia. And it looks great, it's like a massive lens kind of deal, I think. And here it says, uh, the exclusive stat is attack 67, which is flat attack. And the base stat, we have a fixed one of attack flat. But uh, the random for the random stat is going to be between flat attack, attack percentage, and crit damage. You're most likely going to want to grab that crit damage uh, if you can get enough crit from your equipment. Um, otherwise, if you're not too sure about your crit yet, you can probably stick to attack percentage. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't remember her type. I think they mentioned it before. Um, so let me have a look real quick. Developer notes. Was it here? Are we winning? Are we winning, chat? I think we're winning. Aha! Luvencia is... A physical darkness property. There it is. There it is. I wasn't sure if she was darkness. She is. It's confirmed. So just like Sayer. So we're getting a new physical darkness. With like the massive AoE she has. Kind of reminds me of um, Holy Justia. But I don't know how hard she's going to get hit by that damage reduction. So I really want to see how much of a detriment it can be. And I'm, I'm keeping my eyes on her for sure. I'm definitely going to get at least one copy because she looks so beautiful. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, let me know if you're going to be pulling for her or you're going to be waiting for the other characters, right? Because we're still getting a new costume for Mikaela, right? After a summer one. As well as a new costume for Nebris, who recently got the um, Labyrinth Keeper run, right? So that was pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, oh, right, that was... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I always get uh, flashbang by those feats. So, yeah, um, personally, I'm quite excited for her. I it, It's one of those cases where, like, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I don't really care about what she does. I just care about how she looks, and she looks beautiful. That's what she, she looks like. So I'm probably gonna grab her regardless. I am gonna try to get a weapon. If I don't get a weapon now, it's fine. It's not a collab character, so she'll come back. We'll get other opportunities to get her, which is good. Obviously, keep in mind, there is always going to be the events uh, going on, um, which get you some extra resources. Uh, so right here, you can see she's available for pickup. And uh, just by trying to draw the costume, you get one free draw ticket. When you get the costume, you get 10 tickets up to plus four. So you can get a total of 50 free draw tickets from acquiring her. And then... Uh, at the plus 5, you will get 20 Ancient Crystal, which I believe can be used for crafting purposes. On top of that, obviously, the Abomination, the Hunt, um, the Fiend Hunt will be open, so you will be able to fight the Abomination, which is a monster for the Card Wars um, event pack, right? And from doing that, you'll be able to get a trophy, and a bunch of other resources like uh, rank up stars, draw tickets, refining powder, and all of that good goods. So overall, uh, it's nice. It's like um, it's a, it's a small little update. It's a small little maintenance um, part of the larger update that was uh, the one from the 30th. So good stuff. Very excited for Luvencia, and uh, I hope you are too. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe. All the good good. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.